Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's Amazing Space Scotty Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the very, very wild of space, where we are trying to take, at the moment, 16 duplicates into the future as comfortably as possible. Has involved a little bit of excess heat to some people, and maybe a little bit under breathing of the oxygen, but we are here to try and solve those issues. And as they say in my favourite movie, it's Rodriguez in time. Yes, indeed. I think it's time that we expanded our auction supply over on uh, Iragao here. And to do that, we need to look at look, look at this terrible setup that we've got here. We've got, we've got I mean, uh, admittedly, an awful lot of salt water on the floor here, which we are picking up with a pump and then putting into a desalinator, which then gets pumped into the electrolyzer. As you can see, the water here, clean water goes up into the electrolyzer. We pick up hydrogen for power and we just let the oxygen roam free in the base. This oxygen pump here picks it up and redistributes it out here but look this this area here terrible for breathing even some of the bedrooms terrible for breathing we could be doing a lot lot better here and so that is my aim that is my my my, my quest for today but you can see the quest for today uh, has some troubles in it uh, almost all the materials that i want to build out of we are running very 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 low of this is not going to be the, uh, the biggest problem because if we have a look around some little areas here we got we got little, little bits of material that's kind of hidden in the background have been uh, forgotten about if we kind of dig across here and maybe come through here that should be fine i would actually like to turn the dig priorities onto a higher one than the ladders uh, because there's sand right here and i don't want the sand to stop my breeding program going on Whilst we go around and try and find ourselves some materials, because of course we're actually going to have to like reroute a whole lot of power here. I want to take these batteries out, maybe move them over to this side. Uh, we we have, do have a little bit of another problem kicking off over here on my first starting asteroid, Reversalin. Uh, it's reversed because there was uh, magma at the top of the asteroid as opposed to the bottom where you'd normally find it. Look, the bottom of the asteroid is all nice and pleasant. Up top, hideous hellscape of melted rock. Uh, and in this hideous hellscape of melted Rock. We had managed to uh, segregate off a little area here. Unfortunately, this has had the opposite consequence from what I was hoping for. Uh, I was hoping that we could end up emptying all of this area or at least making it a nice place to live uh, and then we could abandon the area with the magma well the magma area has completely vacuumed out and the uh, the area where my duplicates live well obviously some sulfur got dropped at some point and it was unbearably hot and the sulfur vaporized now the thing i have oh we've got an entombment uh, this this is exactly exactly what i didn't want i knew this was going to happen you know i'm going to put it up on a nine and everything let's just make sure that is a high priority hubble actually doing the job that i asked him to do right there okay that's oh he jumped up high you're kind of stranded there mate um you're you're in trouble but i think you can save yourself so that's fine let's go back to reversing because i've noticed that these this sulfur here it's less than a gram in most places it's less than a gram in most places so if i come down to my i think it's furniture or maybe utilities utilities temperature shift plate i'm just gonna pick a random material I, I i don't think it really matters what we build out of let's build out of clay we've got a lot of clay and i'm just going to go ahead and put down some temperature shift plates here in the hope that they exchange maybe, maybe not that one uh, exchange the temperature with the sulfur around and condense it down even if it flashes back and forth a few times we'll end up taking the temperature uh from the gas into the shift plate and that should be fine kelvin what are you do you're still supplying ranching materials the reason that i really want to get this under control over here and maybe even push all the magma down is so that we can stop Kelvin doing this so that we can build uh, shipping uh, where, where is it a, an auto sweeper and have a little shipping oh they've changed the outline that that looks good that looks good uh, put down a, a shipping conveyor down here and run our materials down to the farms directly rather than having someone have to go all the way around to deal with it do you know what I'm gonna do you know what I'm gonna do we, we've been meaning to do it for the longest time now I'm gonna dig in through this way Oh, no one can get at it this way uh, and then uncover the bottom of the uh, of the magma there uh, to do this though i'm gonna have to put down a little bit of a ladder still unreachable because uh, this door is not we've not been letting pe uh, duplicates out here because they keep they keep trying to jump in the magma and melt themselves it's um not great iriga we've still got a trap duplicate hubble my friend that that should save you that should save you are you, are you free now are you able 
able to go. I think so. I think, yeah, there we go. All right, all right we, we, sa we save the day. We save the day. I like saving the day. It, it makes me feel good when I do such savings. Uh, we are, of course, trying to uh, to get our way into here. Uh, the main thing that I'm trying to build here, let, let, let's go and, uh, not the rusty oxidizer, though that is something we do need to get to. Uh, I'm going to build something called the Half Rodriguez. Uh, I feel like the half one is probably more appropriate for this area. We could build the full one, which takes four electrolyzers, and there's like six oxygen pumps and uh, two hydrogen pumps, and there's a, like a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of moving parts going on there. Oh, hey, Spitzer, thank you very much. <laughs> you tried to take it out when you were stood on it. Uh, I, I do like the magical abilities of the duplicants sometimes, to be able to just stand in midair. Uh, it's it's almost, almost an acme level of, hey, if I haven't noticed, then I can totally totally do what I need to. Uh, look at the, look at all these gases up here. Do I need to deal with these or do I just need to open the door? I might just open the door. <laughs> of course, that would let all of the gases out through the top and that would, that would save me a lot of effort. Oh, oh, oh. So with the update that has just happened, um, we, uh, we get, get a better overlay for our interplanetary launches. And uh, I, I built this tile yesterday, last week, year, week before, I don't know, whenever, whenever I released that video. I can't remember whether it was one or two ago. Um, I need to deconstruct that, it turns out. We were trying to hold back the radiation from, from the, the base, and it turns out, no, not good enough. So maybe we need to think about better ways of rerouting our power here. Uh, if I do that and then cut that one and of course that one as well maybe we could just move a tile right there that that would be nice right right there okay has this made the world a better place to be in yeah kind of kind of that that that's pretty good i do like making the world a slightly better place to live in gotta gotta bring those duplicates into the future as comfortably as possible of course i think we're gonna grab the oxalite why not more oxygen okay it's been kind of unfortunate that every time duplicates walk in and out of here the gases try to equalize and thus all the sulfur has squidged down uh, underneath the pressure of all of this oxygen, but that doesn't mean that my plan here can't change. I was going to put down a whole bunch of uh, temperature shift plates, but I've realized with it being such thin gas, I could actually just go ahead and do other things, such as connecting this up like this, and then we'll just chop the pipe there like that. I don't really want to do any of those state changes, but now look at this. We're going around and we are chilling the outside world as well. We're going down from uh, oxygen of uh, 200 degrees, and we're trying to bring it down as if we can, please, just to 20 degrees. 20 degrees is lovely. Do you, do you guys not like 20 degree rooms? I love a 20 degree room. Let's have a look at the temperature overlay here. Are we doing anything? I mean, hopefully this ladder is going to start chilling out at any point. I mean, it is going down 0.1 degree per second, maybe, as we're talking here. So, that, I mean, that's... That's good, right? Look, look, there's even cold bits of gases coming out of here. Okay, that that's good. We'll just we'll just wait and see what happens. Rutherford coming to do his own dirty work for once. I am shocked. Normally he sends Kelvin up here. Okay, that that's fine. Just about to break 400,000 calories by the way on reverse. Look, that that is that's immense. That's the power of food that just doesn't go off. <laughs> that's great. Uh, making grub fruit preserve. We we get the the plants from here that are being tended by these grub grub Big, big creatures and we get the sugar that's made by these sweetles over here and we combine them in our kitchen to make like all of this grab fruit preserve like look look how much we've got here it's unrefrigerated it doesn't matter fresh 100 percent okay we've got a major bit of reconstruction going on around here i desperately desperately want to be able to move this uh, aluminium wire from here i think we're gonna just go up this line here connect these two together but also the ladder needs to move uh we look the, the, the rodriguez already already spilling over onto the uh, the major access ways there. I'm also badly running out of materials. <laughs> uh, deconstruct this pipe. We've already taken the power. We've not already taken the power wire out. I thought I'd done that. We'll take the power wire out as well. Uh, there's a bunch of pipes back here that we could probably get rid of as well. They are totally superfluous to needs and if I uh, look at the automation we could probably get rid of all of this as well. What are we going to get back here? Is this steel? This is still beautiful. But whilst we watch the great four Hubble spit Sir Chandra and Compton go around and lay down the foundations for the great project we are undertaking right here. 
I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that make sure all my foundations are laid down greatly. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on to, into the future as comfortably as possible. It's getting increasingly difficult to make sure that I have a Victorian calculator machine that can actually go ahead and play the games that I want to. And these are indeed the guys and girls to make sure that I can do that. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so, so much. Quick B update if you want it down the bottom here. We've got to the point where all of the beaters... Oh no, we, I think I just watched one. Yeah, cro croak it. It's done. It's done for. Oh man, there are loads here as well. I didn't see these guys. I thought there was just one in the corner, but it turns out we have quite a few down here now. I'm hoping any moment now they will all turn into actual flying beaters, go up and start grabbing some uranium and start uh, producing uh, enriched uranium here. Oh, we've already had... We've already had that happen, and I actually need to go through and click each one of these individually, which is not ideal. I wish there was a, a copy button, uh, a copy setting button for this particular process, but there we go. Uh, up the top here, we're still just kind of get rid of all of the uranium here so that I can start thinking about building us a whole bunch of... Where are they? Steam turbines. All the team steam turbines across the top here will then throw a research reactor. Do I have access to it yet? I do not have access to it yet. We are trying to knock out uh, a fair few of the researches. I'm just going through doing the ones like right right now. I've literally just finished doing the botanical analyzer. I'm going to do the gourmet preparation next. Just finishing up what we can reach. But somewhere in here, yes, here it is. The uranium uh, research re reactor. I, I need that. I, I need that. Uh, within the next couple of cycles, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the gourmet protect the gourmet food production first preparation, if you will, uh, and then we'll do that next. But I'm waiting for all of these guys to run out of food, and then I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Then maybe set up another colony down down here somewhere. Maybe bust this all open and try and expose a whole bunch of more uranium for them. Hello, Hubble. What are you doing down here? You're probably trying to get. Oh, you're digging this area out for me so we can expose more uranium. That's great. Also, I kind of hate it when it takes a whole cycle to do half a cycle's worth of work. Where, where is Spitzer? What's been going on? Okay, over here on reverse, Lynn, the, uh, the ladder temperature has been dropping quite steadily, and I've also been asking people to come along and do these uh, tiles here so we can start getting rid of all of this obsidian. I de uh, not obsidian, magma, sorry. I definitely need to get down here and start filling this in, and no one has done my ladder yet. It's all the way up at Errand. Uh, Boar might do it at some point. Okay, H how about over here and our power lines? N no, we're... We're not out of Wolframite. I don't believe you. We are, we are actually out of Wolframite. Okay, well, that's a thing. What other material? We do have some aluminium now, and I do want to end up replacing the whole lot with aluminium. That is my... I only I only built... That is my plan, sorry. I only built this out of Wolframite so we could come along and rip down all these aluminium wires uh, and then replace it all. Replace all this um, Wolframite again with aluminium. That's, that, that's my plan. That's my plan. Or aluminum, if you prefer. Oh, nice. The archway giving us some aluminium there. Okay, great. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you very much. That, that, that couldn't have gone actually better if I wanted it. Oh, and of course, with the new update comes the new Move 2 ability, where we can move any bottle to wherever we want. I'm asking for all of the polluted waters to go be dumped underwater. That should save us this off-gassing problem. There are loads of places. I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I was doing this. Look, this uh, this targeting beacon here is being powered by its own little transformer, and the payload opener is also being powered by its own little transformer, and they're less than seven blocks away from each other. So I've gone ahead and asked them to connect the two together with some golden wire, and we'll just wipe all of this out. I don't think we need this deodorizer. I mean, we might need this deodorizer still, but... Uh, Maybe we could just get rid of the morbs. Yeah, let, let's. I don't. I don't really like doing it, but if it makes you feel any better, we have an entire morb colony down here on Blagolia. So I. I think. I think just like on a karmic point of view, I could probably deal with these two in this manner. Oh look, I'm just doing some rounds overnight and we are chilling this area down. Oh, no, F4 is probably the better one. Chilling this area down enough to make some solid sulfur. It keeps in instantly vaporizing against the ladder, but you know what? That's bringing the temperature down just a little bit more. 1.66, we were over 200 last time I came and saw in here. So this, this is good. It's slowly... 
ever so slowly bringing down the temperature of the oxygen around here. Of course, it's going to be a little bit of a problem whilst the obsidian is still at 1200 degrees. I have asked for it to be dug all out, but I've also asked for this enclosed telescope to get ripped down and, you know, that that's not happened yet. <laughs> Okay, all these tiles uh, of uranium ore seem to come in somewhere around 100 grams. We've got 98s over here, uh, 92, uh, 91. So we're looking over a hot, uh, 90. And all of these are still just over 90. So when are these guys going to start doing the harvest harvest? I mean, they've obviously have done because we've got 21 kilos of enriched uranium ore in here. These two not been doing so well. Maybe we need to uh, dig out that ice there and that might give them access. Of course, all the carbon dioxide down here is um, put, putting these little bees to sleep. I'm surprised these little ones don't just stop and consume it. That's that's normally what happens here. They just stop and then a whole bubble of uh, I am eating carbon dioxide uh, arrives around them. Yeah, I, want, I wonder what's up with that. Oh, there's the digging. Uh, this one did some digging. Okay, that's great. And it delivered it off over to here. That's nice. Why is the digging so rare though? That's what I want to know. Why, why aren't these sleeping ones digging? I mean, obviously the fact that they're sleeping Sleeping uh, means they're not. But why, why isn't this guy digging? I don't know. I don't know. Four grams of sulfur condensed at 65 degrees. Okay, that's nice. The ladder's still 160, but that, that does mean we are bringing stuff that... Oh, Rutherford's come to steal that particular bit of sulfur. Okay, that that was our indicator, buddy. But okay, I'll let you I'll let you get, get away with it. What have we got going down here? We've got an awful lot of gas pumps going into place. Yeah, beautiful. Of course, we're also going to need at least two atmosphere sensors and a whole bunch of piping and liquid networks. Uh, these are going to be liquid waters. We're going to take that out there. Uh, and of course, ventilation. Now, uh, the, whoa, 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 the, uh, the, the normal gas pipe, the normal gas pipe, I would like to come off of this guy. Uh, we're going to just kind of snake around a bit for some storage. Uh, and then if we've got the materials, I would really like to build a hydrogen generator up here yeah just like that beautiful we can control it with the smart battery it can dump all its power straight into the power spline that is amazing and then the only thing left to deal with of course is the two separate uh, oxygen lines here we can have this one you know what? i'm going to bring them down like this they can join together like so and i think this one can go up and out like that that's nice that's beautiful we're going to have two separate oxygen lines coming on out of here one of which is probably going to join onto this line and the other one, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with the other one. Maybe we'll just wire them together because we don't, we don't need that much oxygen here. But it's nice to have a backup, you know? Now, I believe we can power all of this off of one conductive line. I don't think we're going to have any over overflow no what's the word i'm looking for overcharge uh problems here we could add it all together two four six eight ten uh, so that's a thousand plus another two on the side yeah actually that that's not even close that's only half maybe maybe three quarters of the rating of the wire that's that's good that's very good we we just got updated wow the, the co2 has actually finally started to be able to pass through into my uh my slick box over here it's coming from this carbon dioxide vent and ah, that's the problem well not the problem that's why it's lo loosened up we are dormant on that carbon dioxide vent so i now swap this filter to turn back onto carbon dioxide and we're going to start pushing some of this through here okay that's beautiful that's a fair amount and i'm worried that it's going to re-trigger my too much co2 alarm but but that's fine that's fine uh, over here i was noticing that a whole bunch of sulfur seems to have been dropped yeah 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 i know too much co2 because it started flowing again uh but I, i've noticed a bunch of sulfur here because it's uh, i don't know must have been dropped or something like that we could i suppose move this cooling loop up to uh, to touch this that's it's, it's very hot up here it's 500 degrees or so but i just Hmm, if only we could get more liquid into this pipe. We could probably do it from over. I mean, this this is also a cooling loop. But if we could figure out how to do that and then run some cooling up into this area as well, we could actually just start to contain the whole thing. Someone must have dropped this overnight. That's the only way this would work. But I think it's not the most pressing of issues. That There are definitely more pressing ones out there to worry about. But let's see what happens when the door opens, in fact. I might just hold the door open. That might 
might be the better way of doing it because then all of this sulfur could have flown in here flowed in there oh my actually i'm gonna have to figure out a better way of dealing with this now hmm because then every time this goes negative yeah okay I, I need a filter gate on here i need a filter gate in between here or that goes let's see if this would work i don't i actually don't think it will but let's see if i do that that should just be constant now and this will only output okay no, this should be fine this will only output when it goes up yeah that 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 should be fine that should that should be great that should be great sulfur though not great not sure how we're going to fix it. Okay, I've tried opening the door here as I said I would. Look how bright the yellow is over over the left compared to the right. That's uh, That must be um, showing me how thick everything is. Uh, but yeah, I've tried opening the door here to see whether we can mix the gases and maybe, uh, just maybe condense it all over here. Look at this. Yeah, this is doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. Uh, taking all of the temperature out of the sulfur and condensing it. I... I hope that's going to work. Plank, why are you scolding? Down here we've got some very hot liquids, that's why. Let's just mop those up. I'm sure that will be fine. Back to Irrigal. Still not built. Come on, guys. Why is this not built? Okay, I think we might be ready to run the pumps if I uh, just grab this wire here and turn everything on. Uh, whilst this is above 500 grams, you know what? Whilst this is below 500 grams, let's just pump it till it is dry. Uh, at that point, I'm going to let some water in. So if we can get all of the gases out of here, in fact, what we actually want is hydrogen at the top and oxygen at the bottom. We, we might even go, hey, we're nearly there. Let's just hold that and let's just hold that and see what happens. Now, unfortunately, there is some ox some hydrogen there. Uh, I didn't really worry too much about it going up and into my hydrogen generator because I've got a little uh, not this comes along and whatever gas it detects if it's not hydrogen then it will leave the gas vent open if it is hydrogen then it just gets to pass through yeah yeah just like that it, it just goes straight on through and these guys get to make some power of course that's not going to run because we're not connected it but small small oversights this is looking really good though i think we can actually connect these together now the gas separation has been beautiful we've only got hydrogen at the top let's turn the overlay onto this one only got hydrogen at the top only got oxygen at the bottom uh let's have a look at our water coming in and through here now this is this is good this is good the next thing we're going to do is knock knock all of this flat and get a better desalinator system on the go but for now i think we've done rather well I think we've done really well. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, okay. Th this is all good. These are all still just emitting oxygen. Uh, I want this hydrogen to be... A, but I don't know at what point we want to turn this on, but the oxygen is already turned on. That is good. Oxygen is being brought through here, put through this pump. Uh, I think we're going to now disconnect this one. Bam. That no longer needs to actually receive any liquids. Okay, that's good. And this should hopefully turn this one off, turn these ones on. Uh, the gases should then swap over. We've got hydrogen coming out of here. That's fine. We're going to have to try and pump all of that hydrogen before we disconnect it but we are now moving our oxygen wait you you down here you need to stop as well i think i'm just going to for the moment disconnect the uh the, the line here so that when this next moves any moment now we can start seeing the oxygen being take out taken out of our production zone great I've changed this element sensor here to oxygen as it's almost always going to be bathed in oxygen now. Uh, I, I want to get all the hydrogen that is down here up and into the pipes. Uh, this should then start cleaning everything out. Look at all that excess hydrogen there. That's, that's pretty immense. That's pretty immense. What about up here? Just dumping it straight onto the system. That's nice, but we should probably regulate it. This little oxygen setup has done us well, but it's time to get rid of it. It's time to get rid of it, just like it's time for everyone to go have dinner. Okay, great. Uh, we will uh, flatten most of this area down now. Uh, of course, we need to leave this power transformer up and running, though maybe we can usurp this power line over here to power the desalinator. That that might be the cool, actually. That might be the cool indeed. If I uh, come in and just get a little bit of a wired bridge jump here, uh, and then and a little bit more power coming sideways, we should be able to now destroy everything up this way. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. I can't be the only one that gets a little bit sad when I'm taking apart systems that have been with us for a very, very long time. Like this hydrogen generator here, we turned off the auto repair because we knew it was going to be clean. It's been surviving on this tiny little slither of health for, I'm going to say, a thousand cycles, something like that. And uh, now we're just going to rip it down and we've replaced it with a younger, newer model. I mean... I suppose that's life, right? But you know, in the unironic way, thank you. Thank you for your service there, little hydrogen generator. How did Sulphur get out here again? Oh my gosh, like what, what is this? What did they even do? Did anyone come along and make any deliveries here? No, how about to the ladder? I mean, I, all right, fine, we've got a construction errand there. Uh, uh, I, I do want that to get done, so I'm gonna allow that to carry on. But what, how, oh, that, this, this is, most upsetting. <laughs> At least the cooling is working. It's it's not getting rid of the sulfur, but it is kind of condensing some of it. Okay, quick bee check. They've definitely been eating all of this uranium ore down here, taking them a while to get through it. Same to be said over here. They are definitely chewing it, but it's, uh, it's taking a while over here. I think we should be done in the next, like, hundred cycles or so yeah maybe maybe uh, we need to tidy up this uh this little power area down here you can see we had a whole lot of crisscrossing wires and actually this whole system up here wasn't needed anymore i'm also waiting for the oxygen to get to a high enough pressure here that this uh, gas vent shuts down and lets it back through to the rest of our base i just noticed that where we weren't using the same system anymore there was no oxygen being uh, dropped off over here and of course all the duplicates were over here to do all the work that I'd asked to be done. So the, yeah, that, that was that was quite awkward. Okay, now we've only got one little problem that I didn't quite foresee, but I think I figured out a solution to. We're getting hydrogen down in the oxygen line. Not a problem. We do have a filter, but that then means we start filling oxygen, uh, hydrogen up the top there. The problem, of course, is that the hydrogen has backed up because we've got too much power in the battery for the hydrogen generator to say that it wants to tick over. But if we grab a uh, piece of automation here, the buffer gate outputs a green signal if it, if it receives a green Green signal, continue sending a green signal. No, 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 filter gate. Only lets green signal through if the input has received a green, green signal for a certain amount of time. I'm going to throw one of those right in here. I always get the buffer and the filter. I feel like the buffer gate and the filter gate are named the wrong way round. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it filters for a long signal. And when it's had that long signal, uh, it will turn the hydrogen generator on regardless of what state the battery is currently in. I think, I think that's probably the way to do it. If uh, Compton can come along and fix this for us, we should get this up and running. Having a little burn uh, buffer would be fine. Are we, are we just doing other things? Okay, so someone else is going to go get some steel. Wait, no. Gold. We build everything out of gold. Less, less valuable, you know. Less valuable. <laughs> 25 kilograms of gold later. I've only really just realized what we're doing here. I'm going to turn the filter time up for just very high, very high. It doesn't matter as long as it will carry on uh, turning the hydrogen generator on. Uh, I don't, maybe 200 seconds, a third of a cycle is too long to allow this to back up for, but we'll keep an eye on it. But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this oxygen-filled adventure. I will see you guys next time where we're going to start working on the research reactor. We finally are at that point, but do we have enough materials for the steam turbines? I don't even know how many we need. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with eight to begin with and we'll go see how that goes, but I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye.